This is uh, LINK uh, 2022. I'm Dr. Lamin. I'm here with Professor Cognard, uh, who uh, presented on uh, the short and long-term outcomes from a prospective uh, study on AVM embolization using Onyx. Professor Cognard, can you tell us about the design of the study, please? So the design was to uh, evaluate the use of Honix in three different situations. Embolization alone with Honix, embolization plus uh, surgery, and embolization plus radiosurgery. In total, there are 140 patients, and it took a while to have the complete results of the study because we were waiting three years after radiosurgery. So now we have the result for the three arms, embolization alone, plus surgery or plus radiosurgery. So it's all prospective uh, study as well. Indeed. And how, how do you think the results came out as? So I was really surprised by the result compared to, to what I've already read in the literature. Uh, the results are extremely good and for me surprisingly good. Uh, they are not questionable because everything has been controlled by a CC, a DSMB, a core lab. Uh, so there is no question about the, the uh, accuracy of the result. More or less globally, it shows that in 80% the embolization alone can cure brain AVM. And that the risk of morbidity is very low, it's about 1% one, one or 2%. Uh, morbidity as well is around 3%. So the morbidity and mortalities are extremely low in the embolization alone arm with 80% uh, chance of having a complete occlusion. Uh, it's the same with a neurosurgery where it's almost 100% complete occlusion of the AVM. Indeed in the arm radiosurgery there are still 25% of brain AVM which are not completely occluded and for which th there is a remnant. These are very impressive results. Do you uh, have any explanation for the discrepancy between the trial and the TOBAS trial, for instance? No, and this is really surprising. You know that in TOBAS study there are a lot of French centers, so let's say the result of TOBAS studies are, are driven by French centers, which yeah. are probably the same that the uh, centers who were participating to our study. Uh, the results are completely different because in Tabas you just have 30% of complete occlusion by embolization alone and about 20% of, comp of major complications. So I, I don't understand why uh, the, the people from Tabas, including Professor Raymond and Professor Gentric, we don't understand. So the point is that we are going to work on it yeah. uh, to compare the everything, inclusion, exclusion criteria, participating teams, in order to try to understand why, why there is yeah. such a, a difference. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, enjoyed listening to you and see you soon. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you.